Welcome back to Ark Nights. Today's the day of the event. Welcome home, Doctor. Mike was on its side. I'll pick you up for your own sake. Okay. So, this is me logging in the day after to the, dev, the video that just went up today on Friday. It's Friday. The event came out. I'm going to play it a little bit and see what's going on. Credits. Oh, right. My credits. Oh, you don't get 100 every day. Uh, recruit. Oh, right. Because I had those two recruits. Hire. Oh, right. That's white. Is it a three star? Captain of Reserve Op Team A6, Orchid, reporting in. Are you the doctor? I yes, I'm the doctor. Nice! I got another Orchid shard. That's the best case scenario. Yeah, but just give me another Orchid shard then. I am Ansel, a medical intern. I'll okay. be assisting with surgery and internal medicine. Okay. What is she? Is she a deer? She has like, d oh, like a deer's ears. Oh, and tail. Yeah, she's a deer. Um, normal attacks deal double damage. Oh, deal damage twice. Why did I read that so bad? Okay. The base has a lot of stuff going on, so let's go check out what's in there. Then let's get to the event. Products received. Nice. Resources received. Nice. Let's change this back to, uh, um, let's change this back to precious metals. Oh, fuck, I forgot to collect the- Welcome the home, trust. Doctor. Doctor, let me touch your head. Inspiration can strike, you know. Why would you want to touch my head? The rides to Lake Sil- Silburnahers. Silburnahers. On board service. Let's see what's going on. Harold's token. Okay, you get this. What do you get this from, though? I'm dropping stuff. What is this from? I don't know. Rhino tokens, is what I'll call them for now. Tourist to do list. Oh, <laughs> I see where you get them. Clear RS1. Okay. Wow. Okay. Oh shit, my headphones are falling off my head. Great Sharagander. Sharagander. We walk beside her. The clouds, her feathers, the wing, the wind, her wings. English. Uh, she bestows upon us sunlight and sweet rains, flesh and furs. Benevolent Sharagander. We hold her love for her. Uh, hold her love for her. <laughs> the mountains of her bones, the rivers, her tail. We walk upon her back. We sleep soundly in her arms. That is creepy and weird. I don't know who Sharagander is. Merciful Sharagander. We sing praises to her. When we are afeard, it is she who soothes us. Soothes. When we are imperiled, it is she who saves us. Oh, by the way, I was told not to skip it by Finley. So, here we are. Sharagander blesses her faithful, blesses her mountain beasts, that we may live in peace apart from calamity and eternal serenity. Sharagander. Who the fuck is Yaragander? Sharag. Polaroche territory at the foot of Mount Carlan. Oh? Dogs. Faster! Don't forget what we're here to do! In the back, keep pace! I. Halt! Gather up! Form up! <laughs> okay, same thing. Sir, reporting in. Second squad information, sir. Very good then. 
That's third squad reported in. Sir, not yet, sir. They're dead. Sir, it's possible that third squad has run into trouble. Should we wait for them to catch up to us? No. I had a feeling something like this might happen. Whoever's here first has to be the first to strike. I. <laughs> I don't think I need to go over the plan again. This is an expedition. A right, proper Victorian battle. A battle for glory! For solving go Oh, wait. Wrong game. Stay alert. Do not underestimate the enemy. We will prevail. Failure is not an option. Yes, sir. Good. Keep those spirits up. You gonna say I again? Oh, no. <laughs> Second squad. March on. Our objective? The stock herd... Stock herds? Inn at the foot of the mountain. Why are they going to an inn? We must not let these... We must not let these provincials drink us under the table. This time it will be them who taste defeat. Yes, sir! Soldiers. Common Jarek, man. What are those Victorians up to this time? Testing their alcohol tolerance. Oh, that's a woman. It's not happening. Testing their alcohol tolerance, I think. It's been a whole lot of times... What? It's been a whole lot of times with R Riley's boys. I hear they're always drinking till they vomit. But Karagander. Bye, Karagander. Victorians. If they got all this free time, then what are they even doing? The female voice wasn't happening. No, this one's no good. Dream mommies. What? <laughs> Doesn't sound half bad. What do you think, Yucatan? How do you like the Dramamis? Dramamis? Sounds good. Don't you have anything else to say? Every name I suggest you just say there said sounds good. Really? But I really do think they all sounds good. Oh, okay. Oh shit! I just launched it at the cat. It's okay. I spooked. I spooked the cat. Sorry, I'm messing with this thing again. The little ring. I put it on my thumb and then I let it go and it shot off and it scared the cat. Sorry, Otto. But I really do think all, all the names that you suggest sound good. Russ? Russ? Serious? <laughs> These names are going to be butchered. Nope. That. Nope. Can't trust you. What the fuck is happening? Nope. Can't trust you. I'll need to go over them again. I mean, we're talking about our first. What I'm trying to say is I'm definitely going to pick the best name. Dramamis. This is the one of the best. Tamiops. Sounds pretty good, too. Alright, we can also pick a nickname. Like, Nut. Rotatos. Pipe down already. I can hear you from, sh you from shouting from outside. Rotatos. Oh, that's the name again. And what's this about a nut? Picking out names for your kid? Good day, Matriarch. No, definitely not. Oh. Mind your own stupid business. Business. No more teasing. Garagander's statue is done. We'll have a ceremony in a couple days. And I'm afraid I'll be very busy with everything involved in that. You two are going to have to handle everything that might pop up in our territory. I can handle it. Just relax. My darling little sister is handling it. There's no way I can relax. <laughs> I'm not going to mess anything up this time. You won't get you won't get to yell at me. Yucatan. Yucatan, do make sure your wife doesn't wear any gormless wear that gormless look on her face out in public. Aha. Uh -huh. Less echo hopefully too. It's echoing in here a little bit. Haha. <laughs> Whipped. <laughs> Laugh it up, I'm telling you, Rotados. <gasps> I've got my own plans this time. When it comes to fruition, that and What? Enkyodes is going to owe us brown tails a favor. Just you wait and see. Oh? Well, I guess I'll just have to wait and see. I'll put my faith in you for now. Well, here's a word of the wise. Here's the word to the wise. Try to keep a level head. 
the Aragonder statue, the Victorians, not to mention Enkyo's scheming. How the fuck do you say that? Okay. Oh, I didn't read it! Fuck. I'm afraid we're not exactly fun for a peaceful time here. Unfortunate. Bear! Outrageous, the Victorians have gone too far. Arctos. You need only say the word, my Saintus. Oh! It's the Bell Lady that I had the option to take earlier. What is she? A snow leopard? I'll gather my men and chase the louts out of Kyarig. Please calm down, Sir Ar Arctos. The Victorian soldiers are only here to congratulate us on completion of Kyarangander's statue. What kind of congratulating needs 2,000 men? It's a pretense. Yeah, that sounds a little suspicious. Like, they're they're preparing something, almost. Almost. They set up a camp at the foot of the Mount Carlin. Those faithless bastards. Surely it would anger Kyarangander to allow blasphemers at the ceremony. My Saintus, are we really going to let them do as they please on our land? You're not wrong. I am well aware that they have no reverence for Karangander in their hearts. Then we should? And she cuts him off. <laughs> That's precisely why we should not. Do you believe that our statue of Karangander was built on the only for the faithful to revere? I well, he's the big dum dum. Look upon the statue. Let's see this bitch. That's their god. <laughs> Three years ago, we accepted the proposal of the Silver Ash Clan, and it was decided that atop Lake Silburn Silburnhejers. What the fuck am I supposed to say for that? Silber. <laughs> atop Lake Silber, we would build a statue of Karangander. She would be solemn and stately. She would be merciful and magnanimous. Magnanimous. She's become that she's become that which lifts the spirits of the people of Keurig. She has become a symbol of Keurig to the outside world. As anyone should have predicted, there will be more visitors to Keurig in the future, and with them will come many unavailable challenges. You say that, but there is no but, Sir Artaz. The people I thought the dog just started barking. People of Kyarig's faith is Kyarangander is in Kyarangander is unshakable. That is incomprehensible to outsiders. Faithful, faithful or faithless? Faithless. The one who comes before the statue will find oneself bathed in her light. Bathed. But great saintess, that isn't what's happening here. If they were just ordinary tourists. I wouldn't be sounding the alarm, but those men are the Victorian army. It's not the same. Are they an army? Or are they just the normal's guard? Noble's guard? Or might they be Victoria herself? They've come to Keurig on a mission to congratulations. Of congratulations. I need to learn how to read again. I'm a little, a little dumb. We have no reason to refuse or rebuff them. They're clearly up to no good here. So just in case. What are you going to do, dude? Is he gonna go fight them and see what they did say? As it stands, I still not endorse some of certain NCO's overly risky decisions. Let's hit skip and see what it says. The statue of Karen Gonder nears completion as the mountain snows draw close. Leto's travels take her to Keurig, where at the train station she happens upon an invited Victorian Viscount. Yeah, that doesn't really explain anything that's happening. So like the armies are approaching and they said attack but then they said that they won't let them drink them under the table so are they attacking or are they gonna fight with drinking competition I still not endorse some of Sir Ancio's overly risky decisions despite all the growth that they have brought to Keurig what has Ancio's been up to these past three years he's been making smaller moves on the mineral export issue could this Victorian business be another one of his disastrous schemes? I cannot say. You cannot say? 
I cannot say, sir. Archaz. I can't say his name. Whatever, sir. Encio is plotting behind our backs. It will all be in the manner that he most he sees most fit. I and the Vine Bear Court alike would not be familiar with his line of thought. Sometimes knowing too much is not a good thing. You mean to say I'm just stating the facts, nothing more. The ceremony must go off without a hitch. For now, we'll make our preparations. Whatever we can do as we can as best as we can. I understand. You need not be so worried. Whatever may come, Chorangander will protect her people. What a name. Bro, there's so much stuff that is just, holy crap, hitting skip is not get you even the gist of it. What's on your mind, Saintus? I was pondering about what Artaz said about Yarangander's statue. I hope the ceremony goes so smoothly. It will. She just knows. Yarangander will protect her people, no? I still hope we won't need to bother her this time. You wish for her to simply watch? Kira must learn to face risks and challenges. A child can't spend its whole life in its mother's arms, Kiar. That much is true. Ah, uh, yet another chat has turned rather morose. Morose. Speaking of the statue of Karagander, I have half a mind to give that Arctos a slap. Why? <laughs> he got that big statue's face out of some ancient records, correct? The one it's got right now? He did... <laughs> did he really have to say Karagander's appearance is preserved in these books? You are not... The to deviate from them. Who says my... Who says Kierangander's face is so wide? Deathly deserves a slap or two. Is she Kierangander? Saintus? Enya? Why'd you turn so quiet? No, you're just teasing me again, Shirley. Could I... No, could Kierangander actually have such a wide face <laughs> uh, unfortunate whoa who are you Enciods. oh this is oh he's also cat person is he this brother of that girl in two days the saintists will the saintists will perform the early morning blessing in celebration of the completion of Karagander's statue here's your invitation my lord I keep fucking yawning, it's so annoying. Victorian Viscount. Oh. It's... He was in the splash art. Ah, oh, Sir Ancio. <laughs> that is how... That is how Kyrgyz folks address you, yes? You are far too kind. We had come specifically for this purpose, and I would not... To, to, to trouble you for a special invitation. Worry not. My boys and I will arrive on time. All to celebrate the completion of your, our statue of Karagander. Oh, blessed Karagander. This is going to be an annoying thing to say a lot. <laughs> uh, you seem to be have definitely you have seemed to have adapted well to life in Karag. Karag scenery is a beauty. Her dish is unique and her people most lively. What's not to like? Not for nothing does her grace so often praise Karag's natural bounties. I dare say it's lived up, lived up to the reputation. Lived up. Her grace flatters us. To have esteemed guests from far, from far pray, Jesus Christ. To have esteemed guests from afar praise us in such a way is an honor for Kerrig and the Silver Ash clan both. No to be modest, Sir Antiotes. Though we came here to congratulate you on the comp completion of the statue, I say that I've been thoroughly captivated by Keurig's charms during my stay. I hope that her grace, magnanimous as she is, will allow me to extend my pleasurable stay in Keurig after the ceremony. Sure, NCOs, surely you'll permit me to do some sightseeing, yes? But of course. <laughs> Considering that my lord is eager to gain a deeper understanding of Keurig, I see no reason to refuse. 
Though I would note that this is that in this season, Carrig's winds are bitterly cold, and many unseen dangers lurk atop the mountains. You and your guards will need to bundle up warmly. I would also request that you steer clear of certain dangerous areas during your uh, your tour, so as to avoid blizzards and frostbite. I, I need to stop. I need to stop playing. Oh, I can't. I can't. I already know I can't. Truly a most considerate warning. Kerrig really is a bit cold. Kerrig really is a bit too chilly, but don't you worry, Ferentiodes. That's hardly a problem for us. Thick coat would do a trick. Of course, speaking personally, I prefer to relax in a warm cavern. Cavern? Cabin? With a roaring fire place to... Traipsing around snowy wonderland atop some mountain with some fondue afterwards. Oh, that flavor. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm relieved to hear you say that, my lord. Relieved? Oh, heavens no, I wouldn't go that far. I'm afraid you can't feel too relieved, Sir Anciodes. You should keep your wits about you. Please elaborate. Oh, your relationship with her grace with notwithstanding, I'm afraid that you are... That there are many things that I'm not at ease to speak about. Our friend's so kind to those of lower station, with such affection for Keurig. But is this affection returned by the worthy? Patience certainly has its limits. And if our cooperation with Ke within Keurig continues along with a rough path, well, should her grace decide to her patience has reached an end, I'm sure we would both rather not let things come to that, Sir Anciodes. Is that a threat? <laughs> I understand your meeting, my lord. As for that cooperation, I'll give you my response within the next few days. I will not keep her grace waiting too long. Alright. Looking forward to de hearing some good news from you then. You'll be the first to know. Having handed over the invitation, I have no further need to trouble you, my lord. I look forward to seeing you at the ceremony in two days. Keurig fellow didn't even offer a hello as he passed. What a stuck-up prick. <laughs> it's just a show he's put on for me. A show? You m men of learning spending your days playing your games. Harold, I can tell you you've been in a bad mood these past few days. Is he giving you trouble? Perish the thought. Sure, the lad's got some skills, but nothing to lose sleep over. Alright, enough of that. No use trying to hide from what's the coming. What's to come is what I was gonna say. So let's go do what has to be done. Good to hear that you know what you're doing. If that's all, I must hurry off first. <laughs> I'm counting on you to handle those fancy knobs, Harold. <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> Wait just a moment there. Did you just did you like go drinking without me again? Just one moment, set the drink aside. Did you finish the fondue I was only halfway done with? <laughs> this poor man can't get his fondue. Damn it! Keurig? Who's the Okay. Don't worry, I can do it. Unintelligible Keurig. Snore. Oh, bear! Whoa! Who's there? Who has the guts to ambush me? Oh. How long have I been asleep? Oh, my butt hurts. This ride's real bumpy. Just like my whole body's shaking apart. Bro. Mmm. That's much comfier. The girl sits upright, picking up the book she is using. She was using the past the time. Who past the time? They have a typo, guys. Which had rolled under the chair at some point and stuffing it into her bag. There's a big stretch spotting something out of the carriage window. So this is this is Keurig? It's just snow. <laughs> and mountains. It's got a few more of those than Ursus. But other than that, what's the difference? Snow everywhere. Dry and cold. I don't see what's worth you always going on about. Attention passengers, the train is arriving at the terminal, the base of mountain, Mount Carlin, Keurig. All passengers, please prepare your luggage in a light and in an orderly fashion. 
For those passengers continuing on to the city, transfer at Platform 2 or take the bus. For those passengers continuing on to Lake Silver, Silver, burr, 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 or to see the newly completed statue of Karen Gonder, please transfer at Platform 3. Welcome to Karen. We wish you a pleasant journey. Woo! Here at last. I should have got a drink ready. This is a lot of reading. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry about that. Holy fuck. And all of this fit into two sentences. <laughs> and it's not even... Oh, okay. I see why they said that it's not good to just do this gift now. Because this is a lot of, like, information that's just missed because I was lazy. Yeah. Excuse me, pardon me. Sorry about that. Woo! Finally made it out. Wow, crazy. The station is way too crowded. All right, let me see. Oh. Get off the train, turn left, leave through the ticketing gates, and then... Hey, what's the deal with this map? Whoa, what the hell? Oh. What are you, a burden beast? You're adorable. Oh. I heart Keurig. I'm special. Oh. Huh? A burden beast? Why is there a burden beast in the station? You look like a real tough one. Ho oh, ho, young lady. Could this be your first time in Keurig? Not bad. I'm not even gonna try. How'd you figure that one out? I'm an eye for foreigners. I pick them out with a glance. You could say that the burden beasts are our own Keurig specialty. One named by the great Santa's herself. They're called, uh, what was it again? Alright, they're called Bang Bang Burden Beast. Bang Bang Burden Beast? <laughs> that's right, that's what they're called. Look here, young lady, over here. If you want to take a Burden Beast for a ride, just press this button here and the pen opens. <laughs> Alright, settle down, settle down. We've been taming these beasts for a long while now, each and every one of them handpicked, and they're smart to boot. Wherever you're heading, just put the fare on that pouch on the burden beast when you get there and you're solid. Sounds fun. Can I really ride this burden beast down the street? That's super cool. I'm in. I am, once again, not even going to try. <laughs> Mushina. What happens if someone just doesn't pay? I think you'll find, young lady, it's not quite easy to cut and run in Kyarg. Did you see the disclaimer over there? Let's take a look. In the case of any breach of contract by the customer, the company holds no responsibility for attacks by the supplied burden beast or any other bodily injury or loss or slash damage of property. Will the burden beast take the cash itself or something? Moo moo! <laughs> Mm hmm Well, all right then. It's exactly how you handle these fair dodgers. Oh, you should handle these fair dodgers. I'll definitely give it a try if I get a chance later. That's great to hear, young lady. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Welcome to Kiru. Oh, wait a second. Moshina. Let's see what... Let's see what Google Translate has to say about that word. Pronounce Mushina. Mushinai? Okay, <laughs> Mushinai, apparently. Now the dogs are barking. If I cross over there, hmm, that should be right, right? Platform three, platform three, huh? My madre should be home now. Halt! Gather up! Form up! Yes, sir. I'm gonna see what's going on. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. The dogs were barking at my mother. She just got home. Why are the soldiers at the train station? I should have grabbed water while I was out there. Did something happen? Dot dot dot. Attention! I no need to work. Last time I saw them buy some knickknacks at home to take home. 
Uh, maybe they just came for some sightseeing? <laughs> Though it looks like they're... What the fuck was that? Oh, look that thing over. It looks like their uniform. Aren't very warm, you see? Young fellow over there is so full of notes running. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Damn it, wipe your nose already. Where are those coat I bought you? Why aren't you wearing them? Harold, please. Those coat you bought? They've all got high heart snow stitch on them. What's the problem? I think they look great. I think they look great too. Alright, you keep wearing yours then. Hey, wait. Who's the kid? Was it Leto? Oh! That's cute! Me? Oh, don't mind me. You guys keep talking. I was just curious as to why there was such a big crowd blocking the way. So I had to look... I had a look-see. When I heard you all were talking, I couldn't help but join in. I need to apologize. You are a lady of excellent taste. Excellent taste? You mean me? <laughs> you sure can call them... What? You sure can call them like you see them. I was just looking at those coats myself. The I Heart Snow is a little kitschy. The fuck does that mean? Let's look up how Google likes that word. Pronounce kitschy. Kitschy? A kitchen knife. But they are really super warm. I gotta say, Harold, you're right. The lady really does have excellent taste. Tadushka. Say Tadushka. <laughs> you're not so just ordinary tourists, are you? What are you guys doing in Keurig? Dedushka? Ursine for grandfather? I believe? Uh, fair enough. I suppose you're not- you're about the same age as my no good daughter back home. As for what we're doing here... We're just here to, for sightseeing, same as you. I'm not here for sightseeing, though. Oh, right. Do you know how to get to Platform 3? Platform 3? Yeah, I'm supposed to transfer there to get to Lake Chilbaburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburburbur
Is it really that amazing? Perhaps so, as a tourist myself. I do think it will become quite the popular attraction. But now, with that all said, I'm hoping I could have the pleasure of your company on our little tour, young lady. My lady. Oh, is that it? <laughs> Original Night Prime, just from... Oh, story. ST is story. Training level. Get on. Oh. Soldier recruited in delegation. Employing the standard orthodox tactics. Oh, fuck, she's frozen. What? Kerrig is so cold, we're going to freeze solid if we continue fighting out here. Good thing we have those emergency heaters that we can keep nearby. Operators warm. And avoid being frigid by staying near them. Then around an emergency heater lets us activate the other heaters quicker. I'll do a demo. Here? Facing down. I just need to attack the other heater and it'll activate taking some attacks. I won't sleep on the job. Here I am. Oh. She's successfully activated the other emergency heater, so that other area shouldn't be cold anymore. Nice! Okay. New mechanics! Hey. It's always exciting. Hey. But with no operator standing on the emergency heater's damper, at the right side, it'll gradually stop working. That's when I put you here. More card. Hey. Hey. AoE. You got Please come to your senses. Please come to your senses. Nice. I need to keep my I soldiers think we warm. We did all right. We did all right. You think so? We did all right. All right. All right. All right. RS1. A unique ride has unique rules. Emergency heater makes surrounding operators immune to the frigid environmental defect. <laughs> I won't fail you. I will protect everyone. What? Oh, creepy. <laughs> Take this! Shagata! Ah, charge! Who just killed them? Have none of you had anything to eat today? Again. Ma'am, we can't take any more we're spent. Ooh, she's a villain or something? Get up! What did I teach you? Stand up and grip your weapons tight. Gosh, ma'am. <laughs> Uh -huh. Too slow, and not enough force. Your arts are too rushed, and your tactics too inflexible. There's some synergy among you, that's about it. Overall, you're still too weak. Of course we're no match for you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A compliment from you makes this training more than worth it. That's not enough. One day... I'll shatter a boulder with a single bare hand, just like you, ma'am. Just you alone. Looks like you've had enough rest. Do it again. Huh? Ma'am, this is bad. Don't panic. <laughs> what happened? There's trouble. <laughs> Things are looking bad at the front of the mountain. We can't handle it on our own. On the front of the mountain. Where are we? It's real serious, ma'am. You should head right over. Oh, mission start? Nope. Whoa, it's starting to move. <laughs> Mom, hurry. Whack! That's why I told you not to run around on the train. Are you hurt? No. Look, Mom, I'm a foreigner with a funny hat. 
don't say things like that. <laughs> don't point at people. The scientist has no patience for rude children. Now apologize. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry, sir. You'll have to forgive my boy. Oh, fuck. Why would a kid walk up to this guy? Foreigner <laughs> with the funny hat! What are the... Is that a gun? Yeah, it's a fucking... Okay. Okay. Please excuse me. My seat is just up ahead. He has a mini gun on his back, and the kid's just like, he has a hat. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought I had to look around. That's funny. The train is evidently above capacity. Roughly half locals and half sightseers. Peculiar for a sightseeing train. Sacks in the corner on the back is, seems strange too. There's movement inside. Contraband livestock, perhaps? Livestock? Uh, no other more abnormalities. No strange strangers. No strange characters, even. Worth keeping an eye on. Intelligence mentions nothing other than a train ride to Lake Shilbar. Indeed, there are no apparent clues. I should find the opportunity to inspect the cabins. Boom. Boom, boom. For the past few moments, he's been feeling a kind of strange tremor in his set seat back. Or perhaps some strange beast that kicks seat backs on Keurig's trains? It's a child. The strange creature is a child. As though dissatisfied with his indifference, the kicking intensifies. It's definitely a child. After a moment, the kid sitting behind him pokes his head out. Mr. Funny Hat, Mr. Funny Hat, are you some kind of train freak? I saw you two days ago, too. You saw me? Yep. Mister, did you fall in love with trains because you had never seen tracks or trains? <laughs> Mister, why could why did you clear your throat? It's okay. I'm not gonna make fun of you. <laughs> this train is really amazing. I love it too. Mom told me that's all thanks to the amazing Saintus Saintus and Surishin Shields. And how Kurigander has blessed us all. Cause Kurigander is just the best. How about I lend you my model train? We can play trains. We'll drive a train together. Put your toys away. Go back to your seat and stop bothering strangers. I'm truly terribly sorry that he bothered you again. Rest assured, I'll teach him some manners. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't hit kids. This hat. Does it really look so strange? Milady. Why are y'all wearing, like, fedoras? There it is again! I said that's not a fedora, but... There are quite a few passengers today. It seems this new Karangander statue is very popular. Every time I get on the trains here, it reminds me of the arenas of the Kyrgyzmir's ma Major. Yow! Something bit my toe! This is a foul beast? <laughs> Runaway foul beast biting hard. Ow, ow, ow! Please have mercy, foul beast! Hey! This song is good, man. What the hell? You're going to just let it go? Sure, that's all right. I'm pretty sure pets aren't allowed on the train. Indeed, that's the rule. But not everything is inspected so closely. Uh, let's make sure. Fuck! Why does the green screen keep moving? Indeed, that's the rule. But not everyone, if everything is inspected so closely. They do cut their fellow countrymen some slack every now and then. Relax. This kind of foul beast is usually kept in sacks. Should be no problem. Let us speak of uh, other things. Let us speak of other things. Come, young lady. My cabin is just ahead. Oh, it was full of the soldiers. Right. Whew. Ah. Finally a seat. It was so crowded back there. I didn't expect tickets for this train to be so hard to come by. Thanks for the help, Daduchka. It was the least I could do, young lady. No need for a fancy title. Just call me Rosalind. As the young lady wishes, Rosalind. It's a name that suits you well. A riveting sound to it. It is pretty great, isn't it? <laughs> I'm a Mamoshka. Mamoshka. Picked up. I don't know how to say that. It's all Russian. What do I call you? 
My name is Harold. Of course, you can also keep calling me Darushka if you please. You're very lucky. <laughs> Had you missed this train, you likely would not have made it to uh, Lake Silbernahars Silber in time. For real? <laughs> Good thing I made it then. You're heading to Lake Silber too, aren't you? What are you doing there? I believe I've already answered this question. Kerrig's landscapes are truly magnificent. Of course I must feast my eyes upon the sights she has to offer. You can't fool me. There's not a single guy in our whole gang in your whole gang who looks like a tourist. We don't look the part to you? Nope. You look more like you came looking for trouble. Huh, huh. Us? Perish the thought. I'm so enamored of Kyarig's scenery and culture. Culture? Even. <laughs> I'm even contemplating spending my retirement here. Yes, right. So long as there's no major issues, we shall remain nothing but tourists, naturally. And what if... How about you, Rosalind? You speak the Keurig tongue fairly well for a tourist. Is this your first time here? Somebody's changing the subject hard and fast. <laughs> oh, whatever. I didn't get this to this part, did I? Is he sweating? You could call me half Keurig. <clears throat> Keurig. Sherig. Shrog. Even if I don't really feel like one at all. I grew up in Ursus with my Momoshka. Oh, so your mother is Ursine. Yep. She told me I was born in Carrick. My papa's from here. I don't remember much about anything that happened when I was a kid. I guess you could call this a vacation. Huh, I see. By the way, I've been meaning to ask since we met. What is that box you're holding, Rosalind? Oh, this? Forgive me if that intrudes on your privacy in any way. You need not answer. It's okay. It's not really a secret or anything. Just figuring out how to explain it. It's something that my muchka left for me. My... Please accept my condolences. Bro! <laughs> Don't dig into people's pasts. Come on. I'm sorry to raise such a painful topic, Rosalind. Truly sorry. Uh, what's so painful about this? I'm here to fulfill my muchka's wishes. Meet her daddy? I shouldn't have said it like that. <laughs> Uh-oh, here's the deer bitch. Madam Dragon Rusher, I... Everything is okay now. I've taken care of everything that needs taken care of. Burden Beast Herder, thank you so much, madam. If it wasn't for you, who knows what would have happened to me. Thank you, Gondor, I'm still alive. This is all that I can do. Sorry it's not... A pretty sight. There wasn't any other way. Ma'am, you have blood all over you. Maybe you should clean up first? Later. Time is of the essence. Even though I am solved from for now, I can't guarantee this will be the end of it. The most important thing is to find the ones we're looking for. But ma'am, we got news that they're already leaving the station. Asking the railway to stop the train would only cause a panic. Stop the train? Should we for that? Whew, what else can we do? Uh, look down. Wait. The train is about to pass right under us? Yes. Correct. Jumps. <laughs> Ma'am! Her figure has, uh, as she descends upon the train seems both lighter than snow and heavier than stone. Stone. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> My ankle. <laughs> right then. Where might they be? Is she looking for the... The aristocrat guy? What was his name? Harold? Okay, that's good go. there. Keep I an eye on my back. On that. I can't... Okay. Um... Let's go! Okay. Steward, what was I supposed to do next? Equipment isn't cheap. Precision equipment isn't cheap. My favorite character, but that line annoys me a little bit. Okay, let's get that bitch activated. Come on, 
Let's pick up the pace. Hmm, this isn't so great. Probably should have put a tank down, huh? I will protect us all. Will you now? Okay, you go here, protect there these guys. What are they? The cat people? They're not infected, like the normal story. Okay, they're starting to go the other way now. Okay, let's put her there. On standby. Are these defense units? That hits very hard. Standing by. Orchid, ready to move. Shake his ass! Show the uh, knife right up his ass! Are they just heavy enemies? Like, what the fuck is happening? Why is this taking so long to kill? Ready to heal! Ready to heal! Mm -hmm. You can go away now. Well, that was just sad. You go here and shake your ass. Mm -hmm. A new challenge. One bullet each. Shank, 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 shank. Mission accomplished. Shank their ass. Shove that blade right up there. Give it a little tickle. Tickle the taint with the blade. In my memories, I see vast fields of snow. I remember when I was little, I sat on a wooden bed. The fireplace cracked while a snowstorm blew outside. The sound of the wind whispered to my ears. There was a large hand stroking my head and there was someone putting me to bed. I drifted off to sleep in a warm, calming sensation. I used to think that was Ursus, but Mamoshka told me, Nyet, Rosalind, that wasn't Ursus. Why did she go by Letta, then, if her name is Rosalind? That was Keurig Wind. That was Keurig Snow. That was where I was born. Why did she go by Letta if her name is Rosalind? So it wasn't until you entered secondary school that you learned you were born in Keurig? That's right, Mamoshka never told me it before. Why do I keep going, Mamoshka? I thought she was kidding at first. I don't remember much of my childhood. All I can picture was snow everywhere. There's no, there's snow everywhere in Ursus too. How was I supposed to know? Hmm. Not well, that you mention it, they are alike in that way. However, from what I remember, Ursus is colder than Keurig. Hmm, that's true. Ursus is colder. Have you been? <laughs> Many years ago. <laughs> I didn't have much of a chance to side seat though. What a shame. You got medals all over. Then I'll be your guide the next time you visit. We're at the rest of Ursus. Deity. Deity Greiferberg is a sight in itself. Very well then. Seems I have to get myself a couple of coats to keep me warm. But until I have the opportunity to visit Ursus, and take you up on that offer. Let me be your guide instead. I'll start by telling you about this train's destination. The newly built statue of Kieran Gonder. It was built atop the island in the middle of Lake Shilver. 
Very conspicuous. <laughs> You'll see it as soon as you step outside the station. Of course, for you, this statue is not the point of your trip. It came to care for something more important than sightseeing. Yeah, sure did. I need to take a good look at Kirangander's statue for my Momoshka, though. It's something she stressed before she left us. Then I'll head up the mountain next to the lake. So blah, 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 blah. I need to take the box to the peak. What's inside? No idea. Never told me. She just said I had to dump what's inside on the mountain. That she'd be satisfied if I did. Coming from your foreign land all by yourself, only to fill your mother's wishes. What a kind, faithful daughter. It moves my very soul. That's really too much. <laughs> what are your plans after that? After I take this up the mountain? I'm not too sure. I travel around a little. I might need to look for my papa. Our papa! Is your father still in Keurig? Perhaps I could offer my assistance in searching for him. For real? But I don't even know his name. I don't remember what he looks like. But Momochka told me that he is very handsome. Ah, a handsome fellow. Yeah, I guess he used to be a famous handsome guy. Like, pretty popular too. Alright, she told me my eyes are just like his. That soldier dude? Handsome man from Karag. Do you know anybody like that? Uh, I have a daughter your age. He could only have done the deed while studying in Victoria. No, no, no. That'd be far too outrageous. Ursus is in those days. Could it be? Could it be what? Uh, I must give this some more thought. I really hope you'll be able to find him. You're hoping for a touch, touching father-daughter reunion? Ugh. Not exactly. All I want is to see what this bastard who's been gone for over a decade even looks like. Angry. Don't piss off a bear. Oh, it's gonna be that guy again. Welcome aboard the new Saintist Express. Our train has reached a cruising speed. You may pro you may appreciate the finest natural sights that Kirik has to offer through the windows on both sides of the train. By the way, I know I'm probably butchering that. Cherig. We have a variety of local charag delicacies available for purchase. From all our favorite treats like yogurt snacks to the ever popular bird and beast blind boxes. And even Carlin Trades limited edition mountain ice waters. Everything we have to offer is produced locally, handpicked by the Saintins, her Saintis herself. Saintins. I can't finish that sentence. And guaranteed to be the finest quality. Please feel free to browse our selections. Excuse me, I have a question. And what can I get you today, good sir? I'm not buying anything. Those delicacies are not to your fancy? How a limited edition mountain ice water. This is the Tri Clan's official drinking water, and it's Saintus's personal favorite. We don't have many in stock today, a rare opportunity. It can be yours right now ju for just four francs. Holy Saintus, four francs? Francs? I could buy out a restaurant for that price. Eh, it's a little pricey, but. Just look at the packaging, this clean, pure sensation. It's a perfect fit for your splendid appearance. I'll pass. I'll take a blind box. Thank you. Thank you very much. How long until the next station? This train is a non-stop limited express. The next stop will be in the terminus, Lake Sub- uh, We're about two hours from our destination. If you would like to stop somewhere during our journey, to better take in the sights along the way, we also offer regular trains that stop at every station on the route. Okay, thank you. You are very welcome. Da, 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 da. Line box. Are these trinkets really so popular? Just a meaningless ornament. No matter how I look at it. Still, two hours to go. It's more than enough time. Next. Hmm. Run away, foul beast. It's the bird. Foul beast pecks fiercely. What? My hat! Fly everywhere! Attack all over! <laughs> hey, my foul beast! How do they get out? Where? I'll help you catch them. I'll help too. Mom, I want to catch foul beasts. Not good. Hey, mister. Where are you going? Dot, dot, dot. Why don't you help? Catching foul beasts is so much fun! The kid did it. The 
think a mere foul beast and a toddler can be so fierce together. Since Sharag, Charag, 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 isn't to be underestimated. But yeah, me with my minigun. <laughs> well, this does give me a legitimate excuse to check the train cars. Good afternoon, sirs. Have you seen any runaway foul beasts? No? Thank you. Sorry for disturbing you. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Nothing strange in the car up ahead, either. Only the last few cabins left. Looks like this will be another futile advent journey. Adventure. Adventure journey. Oh? Excuse me, have you... Uh, if I find them, I'll make him pay for that decade. Look at this! Before I came here, I had Natalia and Anna. They're my friends, you see. I asked them to help me math all this out. Living expensive, education, medical, oh, and emotional absenteeism <laughs> that Natalia came up with. It's all here. Oh, there it is. Ah, doesn't matter how good looking he is. It's not like that ever fed me. Oh? My mouse died. <laughs> I'm like, why is nothing working? I forgot to charge it today. <laughs> Emotional abs absenteeism. Not bad. Very good. I approve. Hmm. I guess. Please come in. Have you seen any escaped foul beasts? Foul beasts? Oh, I saw one earlier. Alright, of course. We did see one. Come, come, good sir. Let us head outside and discuss that foul beast in the greatest detail. Oh, what detail is there to have? What the heck? Why are they acting so funny? Hmm, Victorians. Hope everything's okay. Oh my goodness, my throat is going away. Throat? My voice. <laughs> my throat hurts. Alright, kind sir. Shall we discuss the foul beast? I'm very curious what kind of foul beast required Trilby Asher coming to me in prison. In person. Prison? I did not expect to find you on this train, Lord Viscount. Oh, please. I could say the very same, minus the Viscount bit. Why is it that I've never noticed that the Trilby Ashers has such an interest in sightseeing? Or is it that your early retirement has finally been approved? Trilby Asher. Okay. Seems not. No need for the interrogation, my lord. I'm merely doing a routine investigation on certain rumors that I've heard. Now, I can't say I buy that. You and I both help lift the weight off her grace. We should have more trust in one another. What about you, my lord? What is your purpose here? And the young lady with you? Is she Ursine? She looks a little bit familiar. Trilby Asher. I must say, if that was an attempt to make a move on the lady, it's rather behind the times. N no. <laughs> That is not my intention at all, but thank you for the reminder. As for me, I am, of course, sightseeing. Are you? Mind your words now. We shall have more trust in one another. We should have more trust. The Jaragondor statue, Jaragondor statue, is in two days. Ceremony is in two days. I received an invitation, and I thought I ought to do a little sightseeing before the unveiling. I bought two small saintist sculptures, and that I am bringing with me the one of the day. Pretty well made, if you ask me. Anyway, enough chit-chat. I see no foul beasts here. You should get back to work, Trilby Asher. You too, my lord. I hope you haven't forgotten why we're here. Is Harold a bad guy? I don't want Harold to be a bad guy. He's funny. This last one, nothing out of the ordinary. Except Viscount Kragavon and the girl with him. That one traveling with the Viscount. Who is she exactly? It seems like I must look into this when I get back. First, I should finish checking the last cabinet. Pardon. Ah. Cool. Hmm. Please excuse me. That was cool splash art. Oh, no, that's impossible. The intel says she is training new recruits in the mountains. She can't be here. 
Shouldn't be. Whoa, that's cool. That's her sword. That's so cool. I don't know. I just like how this needs something. If you need something, out with it. Or is it just fun to open random doors? Mm -hmm. It really is her. The Black Knight who works from the Silver Ashes. There are bloodstains on her hands. Who forced her hand? This is bad. But this also means that the intel's not wrong. There's trouble on this route. No. Before I consider that. Who are the intelligence officers in charge of watching Dagon Brescher? There we are. For them to miss such an important piece of information, they can expect to see a court martial. Intelligence officers, you say? Don't blame them. There aren't many who can keep up with me. Thank you for speaking up for them. It's the truth. Now, tell me what you're doing here. Surely you must have already come up with an excuse or two. <laughs> Real B. Asher. Looking after everyone's help is my greatest motivation. Okay, didn't ask. I got some of those Burden Beast blind boxes. Nice. Um, I really don't have much more time past this point. Let's see, the to do list. Because we finished this, we got 50 more boxes. And logistics floor scale. Using the dorm to improve the ambience. Ambiance. Nice. This is a lot of stuff to do. How do I get the Mr. Man Herald? Ah, there. RS4. I unlock Herald. Medic operator. No less a dandy in the field. If command duties fall to him in any situation, take it as a sign. A bad sign, that is. Dire, really. <laughs> the rides to Lake Silver. Um. This is a lot of fun. I plan on playing more of this event soon. I, um, unfortunately don't have any more time tonight, so this is the end of the video. Um, if you liked, like and subscribe. I'd love to have you around. Um, like I said, definitely playing more of this. I want to find out what's going on in the story. Um, and Finley, you were correct. It is better to read through the story than just hitting skip and reading the synopsis. You have one free told you so. <laughs> That's it though. So, like I said, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Love to have you around. Series so far has been a ton of fun. So, if you liked it, then please stick around. Um, other than that though, you better have a good night and bye bye.